welcome students in my new tutorial and today i'll be teaching you about what if scenarios okay so first of all going through the definition what if scenario is a set of values that can be used within the calculations in the spreadsheet so practically i'll be explaining each and every line as it's been written here so it is a set of values that means some values are there on which some calculations is been done and which is used in the spreadsheet a name is given to a scenario that means it is a kind of a different conditions and for different condition we are giving the name so actually we used to say it as a scenario and several scenarios can be created on the same sheet so it can be the different conditions and uh, the same conditions as i told it can be as a scenarios and it can be made on the same sheet it is used to explore and compare various alternatives depending on changing conditions so it gives us the option to use different alternatives okay now why we are using this tool this tool is used to predict the output while changing the inputs if we do any changes in the input what can be the output that we have to check which reflects the output and thus one can choose the best plan of action based on it so based upon this uh, theory i'll explain it with the practical that will make the things more easier okay now directly taking you towards the calc sheet i have already created one scenario so that it becomes easier for you to understand so for example here are the different scenarios like principal if the principal is 1000 and uh, what can be the simple interest suppose the principal is 1000 and time is 2 years rate of interest is 5% then what should be the simple interest for example i have given some conditions here if i am giving my money in a bank and i want to see that how much interest i could calculate then scenarios option can be very much beneficial for me so in this case if i am giving 1000 and time is okay fixed 2 years rate of interest is 5% then simple interest will be 100 then also i could go for the other scenario if the principal is 5000 time is 2 years rate of interest is 5% then simple interest will be 500 simple it is same way if the amount is more principal amount is more 10000 then time is 2 rate so i hope what i was explaining you in a theory it is very much clear with this practical example now how to do it yourself practically in the spreadsheet so that i'll be teaching you for that i am taking the new sheet so this is my new sheet and here i'll do the same things what i have shown you so here i'll write principal amount suppose it is from the starting i am taking 1000 okay then time suppose here also i am taking 2 years rate of interest here i am giving int means interest uh, let it be 7% now calculation of simple interest okay this is simple mathematical formula i am using you might have done ptr upon 100 simple interest is equal to ptr upon 100 here i can write it also simple interest is equal to p multiply by time multiply by r divided by 100 okay this is uh, simple interest this is actually the formula now same i will use here but here i have to give the 
cell addresses so is equal to bracket i start principal amount multiply by time then rate of interest then divided by 100 so by default if i am taking principal amount 1000 and time is 2 years and rate of interest is 7% then simple interest will be 140 it's the simple interest okay now how to create it as a scenario this is only the calculation i have done so for that what i'll do i'll just select this these cells i'll go to tools and here you will find the scenarios option this one you just click upon this create scenario dialog box will appear so here i'll write principal amount 1000 okay color i'll select suppose red now here are some settings display border yes i want display border copy back now this option is little tricky i don't want to use copy back option i'll unclick why don't want to use because then whatever changes manually i'll do in the result it will be displayed i'll show you afterwards just now i am clicking on this copy back i'll unclick it and okay as a result you could see here principal amount 1000 it's appearing the border is there now i want to change the amount for example now i want to make it to 5000 you could see here now the simple interest 700 so i'll again select it go to tools scenarios and here i'll write principal is equal to 5000 copy back again and unclick so four or five options i'll select like this so here i am having two scenarios you could see here two scenarios i am having like this i could add some more scenarios in this 10000 and along with the 10000 i also want to change the time period let it be five years okay regarding this i want to make a new scenario so i'll go to tools scenarios so here i'll give principal 10000 and time 5 years okay color i can change to like a light lime something and then i'll click on okay now you could see here it's changed principal amount 1000 it's like this so different conditions i could show principal amount 5000 and then principal amount 10000 and the time also though same way i can make as many scenarios and you know it's very beneficial it it, it could be beneficial even in the bank if i want to show different conditions uh, to my customers so i have taught you how to make this like i have just made three you can make as many as you want okay in the new condition i'll try to change the rate of interest one more i'll take i'll select it so principal amount this time i am taking let it be twenty thousand, and the rate of interest suppose 10 10 percent and then i'll just select it so principal amount and rate of interest i have changed so i'll go to tools scenarios principal amount 2000 then time 5 years and rate of interest 10% again copy back i'll not select click on 
okay color i have not selected so this time okay uh light gold so i have just selected this so different different options i am having so if manually if i change the result suppose i am writing here 500 okay but again if i click it here the result will not be changed i hope what i am saying it's very much clear to you if i click here 4 it's changed but again if i click on principal mount this scenario it will take the original values now i'll show you uh, what will happen if i will not click that copy back option so one more scenario i'll make principal amount suppose let it be 20000 only uh, rate of interest i'll make it to 12 okay and then i'll try to create one new scenario tools scenarios principal suppose 20,000 time is equal to 5 years and uh, rate is equal to 12% but this time I will not unclick copy back option okay earlier I was unclicking it now let it be on only and uh, this I will give the color as gray I will click on okay something uh, this kind of value is being shown now if i click other values it will work like this but what the change you will see is manually i'll make it to 15000 and uh, i'll come back to this one you could see here it is 15000 only it should not be 15000 i have shown you okay simple interest should not come to 15000 but if i am doing uh, I am clicking on that copy option, this option, I will again show you, this copy back option, then whatever manually uh, I am doing the changes, it will be reflected. So that is why I was telling you not to select this option, okay. So I hope it is very much clear how to use this scenario and it is very much helpful to explain to different persons about different conditions so we used to say it as scenarios different conditions can be explained like this okay so with this i am closing my this tutorial if you feel like this tutorial is beneficial for you then please do like share and comment and also subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it earlier okay bye bye take care meet you soon in my next tutorial